You guys ever wonder what it's like to be president of the United States? Like, you're under constant scrutiny for every little thing you do. What you say, what you eat, even what sports you play. This inevitably will lead people to write articles, make documentaries, and even make movies about you. Like, one of the reasons I'd never run was because I make one slip up and some son of a bitch is up on screen impersonating me. Now, on the opposite end, after all the stress of freedoming, it's a no-brainer that presidents want to kick back and maybe put a movie on or two. So without further ado, here's a list of every president's favorite movie. Well, technically not every president, since film has only existed since the late 1800s and presidents didn't really develop a taste for them until the 1930s, so we're gonna skip ahead a little. I mean, I'm not sure Grover Cleveland got much out of Edison's early test films. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Kicking off the list is President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. FDR's favorite was the 1933 film I'm No Angel, but was also a fan of Mickey Mouse shorts. Up next is Harry Truman. His favorite movie was the western My Darling Clementine. Next we got Dwight Eisenhower. Ike's favorite movie was another western, The Big Country. Next is John F. Kennedy. JFK's favorite movie was the Best Picture winner Casablanca. Coming up next is Lyndon Johnson. Johnson was a big fan of the John Wayne film The Searchers. Being a Texas man himself, westerns were the genre he typically gravitated towards. And I feel like that bled into his presidency a bit. That sort of John Wayne confidence led to the whole jumbo thing. Seriously, look up what that is. Up next, we got Richard Nixon. His favorite film was the Best Picture winner, Patton. Next is Gerald Ford. My name is Jerry Ford. <gasps> Former President Gerald Ford? Jerry wasn't a huge movie fan, but his favorite was one that actually came out after his presidency, Home Alone. Up next is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy's favorite movie is the classic Gone with the Wind, and he actually screened more films in the White House than any U.S. president, totaling 480. Look, the dude went from being a peanut farmer to president. That stress warrants putting Star Wars on a couple times. Next up is Ronald Reagan. One of the only people on this list who actually was in movies, as he had a career as an actor before entering politics. Then tell me, future boy, <laughs> who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? I talk about that more here. His favorite film was the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life. After Reagan is his VP, George H.W. Bush. Bush's favorite movie was the World War II film, The Longest Day. Next up is Bill Clinton. Clinton's favorite movie is High Noon. And because of this movie's influence, every day at High Noon, he would ask his secretary to give him a briefing about what was happening in his home state of Arkansas. I completely made that last part up, but his presidency was so wild you would believe it. Next is George W. Bush. Bush was a big fan of the baseball film Field of Dreams, but he also enjoyed comedies every now and again, like how he was a big fan of the Austin Powers movies. Probably to take his mind off some of those stressors of the time. Up next is Barack Obama. Obama loved The Godfather Part 1 and 2. He is also known for posting a yearly recap of all of his favorite films that year, since he has a huge social media presence. Next up is Donald Trump. One of few presidents who actually appeared in films, making cameos in movies like Home Alone 2 and The Little Rascals. His favorite movie is Sunset Boulevard. He hadn't screened too many films at the White House, but some of which that are known are Finding Dory and Joker. Nice. And last but not least is Joe Biden. Current President Joe Biden's favorite movie is the film Chariots of Fire. And I like to think he replays the theme song in his head each time he accomplishes something as president. Wow. It's crazy to think that when these guys aren't fixing the economy, combating healthcare costs, or starting and stopping wars, they just want to kick back and watch the same types of movies we do. It reminds you that at the end of the day, presidents are just humans who all have the same faults and needs that we do. I just wonder what's being screened at the White House right now. Do you want a man for president who's seasoned through and through? But not so doggone seasoned that he won't try something new. A man who's old enough to know. And young.